Gul'dan versus Gul'dan. All right. So it's like a warlock versus warlock. So probably zoo versus zoo. Some people prefer the, um, but a lot of people like uh, use the old kind of zoo kind of core and just put in the uh, one drop imp. I forget what's it called. What kind of imp are they called again? Uh, the new one drop imp. Yeah, uh, one -drop. Well, it's not just doom guard. Uh, they also run soul fires. Yeah, soul fires as well. Yeah. So it's pretty yes. good. So Pixie, a pretty strong opening double flame imp. <laughs> pretty powerful. Pretty hard to beat. Yeah, I'm actually looking it up now. It's uh, Melkazar's Imp. Oh yeah, Melkazar's Imp. Very strong card, but you only need a couple. There's only a couple good cards that has really, really good synergy with it, like the Doom Card and Soulfire. So I guess like people are going that route. So I mean, you could go a little bit deeper. There's the Teacher as well, the the two drop Teacher that makes you discard a card and then when it dies, you draw a card. Yeah. So you, you technically to get two card value out of it with the Imp. Yeah, I like I like Bixie's play here. Just going face, just because you know the T two would just trade into one of the flame imps, so you don't necessarily need to trade for like don't need to trade, so you can put that extra damage to some vodka. Removing the yeah, gotta stay ahead. Yeah, gotta stay ahead. And then we do see the brand being played. I would like to remove that. But uh, it, I, I like going with the juggle here. Maybe you only have to sacrifice your flame imp. Fifty fifty chance. Yeah, it's a fifty fifty chance. Otherwise, you oh. may get an extra. Oh, it looks like he might trade in his. Uh... Yeah, his crazy alpha. Or... Yeah, his. Uh... What do you mean, the uh, possessed villager? Yeah, possessed villager. I'm. I'm watching my game that's still going in the background. Some guy played Yogg, and it's been like 15 spells later. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that, that's a pretty tough board to actually come back from. Mm -hmm. That's definitely true. Oh, so... Gormok the Impeller though, in uh, some vodka's hand. If he could pick up, like, uh, Forbidden Summoning or something like that, he might be able to get the trigger that. True, true. Possibly. Yeah. I know some people remove the, uh, I mean, the, uh, Forbidden Ritual for the, like, I guess, like, the draw is more value if you're running stuff like Soulfire and also the Doom Guards, I guess, like, the power level. Like, it's worth, it's, like, it's worth removing the, uh, Forbidden Rituals. You know, it's probably to deal with the meta as well. I mean, Look at how many people are running a bunch of AoEs. Uh, Warrior, like there's several different Warrior builds that just constantly smashes that card. Uh, Druid to an extent could do it with Swipe. Sometimes they even get the third Swipe off of their... Priest also has a good amount of AoE that could deal with it. Like Pyromancer in general just kind of hurts them. And, you know, removing the cards that are just dead to the meta is usually the right way to go. And put in stuff that's... It's pretty hard to lose from card effects like that. Like Soulfire, instead of actually making you discard a card, it makes you draw two cards if you have to use Melkazar's up down. Yeah, yeah. I also hear the Silverware Golem is a bit too slow as well. I'm not 100% too sure, but a lot of people have been cutting it because it's not really worth playing. Well, yeah, I, I think that's where I saw the variant that I was trying out, which was running that two drop as well as double Soulfire and the Doom Guard. Mm -hmm. I mean, like originally I was thinking like you want to play the old school. Uh, Succubus that makes you discard a card at random for a 4 3 on, for 2 mana. Mm -hmm. Like, definitely a card that was. But, you know, the card just came out. It's been, what? Almost a week, actually. Um, you know, give it some time. People will make some uh, new decks, and we might actually see some crazy stuff, or we just won't see that deck do well at all. But, like, that Bugazar Zeb just has huge potential value. It does. Oh, yeah. See, here's another reason why um, Forbidden Summoning is not good. Look at Melsorb, be something gross in the future yeah. but now we're watching shaman pulse and this is our uh, uh, portal yeah. and this deck it's almost in every shaman build now mm -hmm. so like your one drops are just not as strong as they used to be your one health minions are just not as good as they used to be yeah i'd rather run a soul fire because a lot of the decks nowadays run a lot of creatures that have around the four like three to health four health pool so yeah. you, yeah, Soulfire is definitely a really good kind of tempo play, especially when you could draw again with the Malkazar's Imp. So there's a lot of value there. So it's pretty disgusting. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, kind just... interesting how this is game is is gonna go. I, yeah, I think we'll probably see Melstorm plus yeah. the uh, ooh, the Sliding Storm change anything? No. no. Like so, we see a trade in. Like he's just gonna leave the lock with one a one one minion in the end. I think two one ones. There's two. Oh ones. yeah, you, I forgot about. The, uh, yeah. Death rattle. Yeah. So yeah, it looks like he's just gonna skip out on that. Maybe oh, uh, just yeah. attack into the one one for now. Yeah, I guess I think like he, he might have been looking for the healing totem. Mm -hmm. No, I actually do like going face a lot here. 
Because you do have the double Maelstrom Pulse, not just the one. Mm -hmm. Hey, I guess it really doesn't matter in the yeah. end, does it? Yeah, and then you're also developing another creature too. Like if they're both trading in, you can just clear everything with just double Maelstrom Portal. And you get two one drops too, so that's also pretty good. And a lot of the uh, minions uh, the zoo actually plays out around 2 to 1 health, so pretty sure Maelstrom is going to clear almost everything. Especially with that spell totem, yeah. yeah. Exactly, yeah especially and I, don't spell think totem. It's, I don't think it's getting removed this turn. Yeah. I think we're going to see Golem get taken out and maybe the shield from uh, yeah, the Squire. Yeah. Oh, it's actually not going to be rude. We're going to see huge... Yeah, huge. this is going to be devastating. Mm -hmm. Like, how do you deal with it with your hand? Like, Ooh, you can't. That's interesting. But he is going to clear the board here. Yeah, then he he's probably have just going to use that a... number of him, so. Yeah, then he's <gasps> probably going to use that one, one to trade into the board. Yeah. To whatever is left, I mean. That Squire is so sick, because you're hitting Totem every turn, and you're just going to have a big minion real fast now. Yeah. That was a good draw. That was a good boss. Draw. Yeah, I felt like there could have been like a more efficient kind of trade, but... Yeah. I felt double Maelstrom there is good, because it does allow you to gain a little bit of board. But right now, since you have nothing really in hand, I think hexing is pretty good. See, I, like, yeah, look, he, he's hesitating because this is his second hex, right? Mm -hmm. Like, he knows if he uses this, he can't deal with Sea Giant, he can't deal with Doom Guard. Mm -hmm. Alright, so he's just gonna leave it. Interesting. Oh, that uh, Squire is not meant for the world. <laughs> Yeah, it's a pretty weak kind of board, but at least you have a Maelstrom Portal that deals 2 damage or can wipe almost every, anything anything on board. At least it's that much, right? I, I, ooh. Ooh, the imp. You have no way to immediately gain value off of it. Mm -hmm. oh. Choosing one, uh, one demon over the other, going to go with the Voidwalker here for some defense, but then taunt up as well. Mm -hmm. I'm assuming this is the mid-range shaman deck. The mid-range shaman deck actually does not run a lot of minions, but it does run like yeah, stuff like flame tongue totem and this is an easy lightning storm in a spirit claws for damage. And yeah, this is a very easy lightning storm. Well, don't they? I, I think they run one um, bloodlust. Uh, some lists do, and some lists don't. Like it's like preference. Like some of them runs alloc here. Uh, yeah, for the well, I, I've always liked uh, Bloodless because it's it just huge, huge damage swing. Mm -hmm. You know, three times the number of minions on the board, yeah. it can deal up to 21 damage. Yeah, I, I, I personally like Bloodless more because it comes a lot earlier than Alec here. Because by the time you reach a late game, your opponent probably has enough resources to wipe up the whole board most of the time. Like you're playing against control decks and it's one of the better mm -hmm. ways. Oh, here comes the uh, uh, Maelstrom oh. Portal. Yeah, portal, portal, portal. Portal, portal, portal. Oh, there is no pulse in this game. Portal. Oh, wait, that's the bad one. That's the one that deals one to everything. It, it could be good. You do have a heal, like a healing totem, right? So it's yeah. pretty much non effective. I guess, like, that one one gets. Like, well, you're also ahead against the lock, so. Yeah. You're doing okay in this position. Yeah, you're doing A okay. You can even use that as a threat too, like Forbidden Ritual is completely useless against that tentacle. Why do you and yeah, you're taking an initiative, so you'll probably be the one who's controlling that death rattle. Is it good here? Actually, yeah, I feel like it's good here. It allows you to kill both minions. Mm -hmm. That would that'll kill the, the fiend that you could trade your healing totem? Looks like he's just gonna... I, I guess he doesn't want to, it's because he wants to save it for the Forbidden Ritual. Just for just case. If he was gonna play Tuskar, he probably should have played it first, right? Because if he got the second Flame Tongue, then he could have just taken out the Defender mm -hmm. without any cost at all. Mm -hmm. Well, it seems like a little bit of a misstep there. Like, yeah. oh, Leroy, interesting, saucy, saucy Z deck. Saucy, saucy. Z deck. Wow, big C. Ripping. <laughs> Warrior Warlock Shaman. Yeah. Fun. Although we have been seeing a lot of the Malagos kind of druid, but people still um, still continuing on. Like, although Malagos druid is bad, I think yeah, it's, it's just bad. as fine as any other yeah. variant. Yeah, I haven't tested enough just to see which one like is better or more efficient than the latter. But both are very good decks from what I've seen. Okay, um, something to think about is the the one that you were just talking about, the Mali uh, Arcane Giant, Yog, yeah. Arcane Giant deck. Yeah. Um, that deck is mainly built for tournament play, 
and you have more of an idea who what you're matching it up against. Mm -hmm. So you could purposely match it up against uh, a decks that you have better win advantages against, right? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Maybe you're looking for a slower deck to be Zoo and Shaman decks, right? Mm -hmm. So, I mean, yeah, this is actually probably the right place to play that variant mm -hmm. of Druid, where the token variant that's like Wisps of the Old Gods and Savage Roar is probably better for the latter. Yeah. Because you could just beat your opponent down before they can beat you, and that's usually the right call. Winning the game before your opponent can. Always feels Thumbs good. Thumbs up. Oh, Tuskar Totemic, always giving out the Totem Golem. Yeah, and some vodka. <laughs> like, holy crap, that is a really, really good start. Yeah. He's gonna follow it up with, uh, you know, 4 mana, 7-7? Seven, seven? No, it doesn't, like, your opponent can't see it, only you can. Yeah, only you can, right? Yeah. Well, if your opponent but... can see it, I, I would find it pretty annoying. Not gonna lie. <laughs> Well, j just imagine if they actually did things that had cosmetic effects to your character in the middle of the game. Yeah. Like, uh, they make a spell, it's like, also, transform your, uh... Because I've been playing I, I remember... Druid, I've never seen this anymore. Dude, I have, like, 32 Druid games played, and I can say it's happened. 13 <laughs> 2 Druid play? I have over 200 something. Well, I mean, if you add up the number of mage games that I've played... Yeah. Alright, so, playing, like, not even playing around... And then it could sell your mana and hope to draw into swipe next turn. Mm. But even then, like you only have eight mana. But I, I think you need to kill something with your hero power. I don't think you could just leave it all up because, like, instead of uh, only taking two this turn, you're just going to take an additional five over the next two turns anyway. Mm -hmm. It's rock. Yeah. Man, the shaman is just having a gross it's... turn after gross turn. Yeah. It's not doing much this turn, but gonna be able to probably Fenley if he wants. I, I definitely like trading in the Totem. I think it could have been possible that he could have just traded in the Tuscar. And... Yeah, Tuscar, yeah. Does this uh, maximize like... his damage yeah. output? It probably does, right? Uh, it does give him one additional. I think what he was really looking for was Healing Totem. It also does make it think a little cheaper. Ooh. Oh, that was a really good uh, Melstorm pile. Wait, I want to say Melstorm because it's no, a no. Druid. Moonglade. Moonglade, what all? Uh, yeah, that's actually a spell for druids in the WoW game, which yeah. teleports you to guess where? Maelstrom? Moonglade? I don't know. Moonglade. Moon Moonglade. Yeah, Moonglade. Because then he can't really trade efficiently into it other than trading in the 7 7, but unfortunately, this lightning bolt. He's playing Shaman. He yeah. doesn't need yeah, he doesn't need <laughs> Yeah, he just lightning bolts. But he yeah. Better, yeah. Hopefully, he wins his jazz. Oh, he all. He's, he's, he's more likely to win it, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, like, well, hopefully, right? There's only one more four drop in that deck, and then one more six drop in that deck, right? Mm -hmm. At most. So very mm -hmm. For Bixie, what does what does he actually need to draw in order to uh, win this? Uh, Infinite Yog. Oh yeah, probably. Okay, Wrath. Uh, I don't think immediately playing the Arcane Giant is what you're looking for. I think you may want to actually play your other spells first. Uh, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> he could have made that giant cost two less anyway. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? Did he kind of give up on this game? Maybe, maybe. Playing, uh, yeah, playing the giant first was definitely, I feel like a mistake. Because he would have basically gotten that wrath in for free. Yeah, and that was more than enough damage for lethal. Yeah. Six, well, seven, even yeah. with going with the wrath route, like you either get to choose to draw a card or some vodka. Would you like? Some vodka. I love vodka. I must protect. I love, I love vodka. vodka. Yeah. It's water, man. It water. It's water. Water. It looks like water, but it doesn't taste like water. They're mulligan, I guess. Yeah. But you get to see your own mulligan. Mm -hmm. so I guess it just makes it so spectators can't see the mulligan. Mm -hmm. So we can't Ugh. cheat. That's what. I guess if that was an issue. <laughs> I mean, if you're spectating you're both players, I don't think you're worrying about cheating. Yeah. Uh huh. So I, I feel like the zoo is really favored in this matchup, but we'll see what the new uh, improvements, aka the uh, interesting. It, it's like the older variant, old. yeah. Like with the, the huge burst potential. Yeah. From... You, yeah. You see Bran, and then you see the Leroy. I haven't seen that for a long time. But he, yeah, he's keeping true to the older list. Rather than to the new ones that people were trying out. So then the question is, is like, did this was this the the Chinese list that was it 
ran double. I mean, I, I feel like Z Giant is just so powerful in Zoo, and that's yeah. the main reason why Zoo is still around. Yeah. I, I feel like if you're running Leroy, they're. Wild growth, so you can play Teacher plus the Roots next turn. Mm -hmm. I like that for And you just lose out on your one uh, extra 2 1, but you get the free 2 damage to face this mm -hmm. turn. Yeah. Yeah, I don't really. Yeah, I like your play a lot more. Yeah, playing the Violet Teacher in the Living Rooms next turn, you've got to generate a lot of the value. But then yeah, it's you like get cards your value. Like, yeah, but cards like the brand is going to be annoying. Brand's gross, man. Like, yeah. if he runs into an Argus or something like that, yeah, that's spelled game over. Yeah. But if this teacher ends up, you know, doing work, which it usually does in this deck, he's going to be le uh, leading right into Moonblade Portal. But, I mean, like, Druid the Claw got the cut early. I wouldn't be surprised Ancient of War is going to get the cut. Mm. It just keeps. The deck keeps evolving. Yeah. But yeah, th look at this. Look at this. This brand is just so disgusting. He's like, oh, I'm going to make my 1 1 into a 5 1. And Sylvanas. Etc. Yeah, like, Sunwalker. Sunwalker is pretty yeah, good Sunwalker, in this situation. Yeah, Sunwalker is pretty disgusting too. Chasing my cat off my computer. Okay, let's see. Drake. Drake. Double trade on the knife juggler. I like that. Kill. Yeah. I think he was hoping to like pick up maybe uh, a, another Roots or something. Man, do Druids really need another one mana? Nah. Well, I mean, Living Roots is just so good. Yeah. Kind of want they, have moon, they have Moonfire too. Well, you can run Moonfire yeah. in a deck if you want, but this is not Malagos variant, probably. Uh, I think Thorns might eventually come out. Like, Thorns is a, a buff that Druids had for like the past 10 years that just did massive, not a massive amount of damage, but like did damage every time you hit him. Mm -hmm. So maybe it's a card that's like a secret. Oh my god, a secret for Druids? That'd secrets be... for Druids. Oh my god, secrets for Druids. Never would have seen the day. I mean, it's possible, dude. Yeah, it's highly possible. Secrets for any class is just doable at some extent. Like, what exactly qualifies as a secret is All the question. Right. All right. So some vodka actually has a very clunky type of hand, but he's able to use that Gormonk very, very soon. So which is nice. So With Brand, that'd be insane. Yeah. So you're probably gonna Moonglade here, and then you're gonna trade the four four into three three, and just hear power on the one one down. Sunwalker would be beautiful here, though. Well, yeah, you you do it first. See what Jaime. you get. Hi, Yeah, Hi-Man's okay. I don't think it's that insane in this yeah. current situation. Yeah. Like he's he's behind on board. Like I would almost think it, if you want to save your Hi-Man, you want to kill the Dry Wolf Alpha. It's he's already been shown several times that Brand doesn't have that much more value out of what it's been used for already. So it's just top deck plus hero power. Well, I mean, well, the well, fact I'm that Fireland Portal gives you any value is just gross. Yeah. You know how many times it's gone that, um, oh, what is his name? What is his name? The, the Shaman 5 drop that gains 8 or gains a bunch of freaking life. Uh, I've been playing a lot of Freeze Mage lately. I'm trying to think of what he's called. Um, like Vex Lord or whenever you spell deals damage, restore that much health to your hero. I forgot actually what that is. But looking here, picking up the swipe <laughs> is pretty good. Hills there? Yeah, there's a full board clear here. Because then you just swipe the uh, Gorbok and then you just innovate the hero power for full board clicks. Looks pretty good, especially when you have a high main on board that can be able to do tons of damage. Yeah, I, I like the innovate here too. Yeah. You also have the Moonclay following up, so you don't really feel the threat of lethal yet. So, feels good. He yeah. does look like he's in a dominating position. You yeah. can actually do the uh, heal plus the, uh, the Mire Keeper for. The more value, so you just have this huge board, which is a good way to counter out too, because you just lose this one that falls behind. Like you don't even have to worry about damage that much. Just go with the, the board control. Just go with the flow. So it looks like he's gonna discover a spell first. Not exactly sure what spell he's looking for. Maybe claw, maybe starfire. Eh, I like claw more. Claws it also, the... it also gives you health yeah. too. Right? Yeah, sense. if you go with Claw, you can trade within the Dryer Wolf Alpha and go face for six. Yeah, it looks good. I like that. Oh! Oh, wait, no, it doesn't have the effect. If it has an effect, that would be pretty disgusting. I mean. he, he's just a 5-5 five, five for yeah. six. Yeah. So you're getting the worst end of the deal. Yeah, if he Ooh. actually had the, um, yeah, the Valkyrie, pretty disgusting. Wait, does he? Is he 3 off? I think. Wait, no, 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 it's lethal. Isn't it? No. Oh, no, oh wait, not. with Leroy you get plus one. You so get plus two. one? 
Yeah, he was two off. Oh, he's two off. Feels bad, man. Two off. Oh, it's because he doesn't. He didn't have enough mana. My bad. I was including a soul fire. If he had the soul fire, it would have been lethal. Mm. Yeah, don't forget about the abusive. Then the abusive too. So it was like a total of sixteen in hand, four on board. So that's what twenty. But then you. you Add in the one for the drywall alpha, which would be twenty-one. Yeah. So Pixie is actually not trading. Does does some vodka actually have a chance of lethal here? So three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight plus, plus six. That's like fourteen. That's like eighteen. Ooh. So he's one off. Oh wait, no. And no, it doesn't give him additional two unless he puts it with the Leroy. Yeah. So he has to make sure he sets up the right ordering yeah, and he... does the drywall attack last and pumps up the Leroy, then does the soul fire. So yeah, as long as he sequences this right and puts it in the right place, yeah, he may have it. Yeah, yeah, yeah there we go. Yeah, there, there, That's there good. we go. Yes, yeah, lethal. Oh baby. Nice. Yeah, exactly lethal. Oh man. Feels good, man. Feels good. Yeah. Yeah. That, yeah. That's why when I thought Bixie when he was actually um, playing it out there, I felt like he should have traded. Most of the things, because then, Fine. yeah, that's why I said, yeah, yeah. So there's actually per, a potential reverse sweep from some vodka, but he's been doing very well. Like both of them are very tight, a very tight game. I mean, not very tight, but you know. <laughs> yeah, sure, Herman. Yeah, yeah sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah their their gameplay. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's yeah, what. You yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, so this he's running. Um, I, I think I've seen builds of the current Dragon Warrior. Uh, they they run a little bit slower with the bookworm, and then they run in curator as well for mm -hmm. additional value. I'm not sure how that deck works overall, but hey, we're about to see. Yeah, we're gonna be able to see. He should have a aggressive start like you know, any other deck. Ooh, hunter seems good, especially this early. Yeah, it seems to be really good, especially when this class alone can can apply so much pressure. Jesus. Yeah, well, you're doing four damage next turn, mm -hmm. and the best your opponent just did was hero power pass. Mm -hmm. So yeah, come on, Alex, draws the champion. I choose you. Now, just now, that card's gonna deal six damage, like guaranteed almost. Nah, it's it's gonna take a sick wrath. Yeah, it's gonna take a sick wrath, like almost guaranteed. Like that's why. I, Unless that's um, why. I think uh, the only thing that would change that is. Maybe wild an Innervate or a Wild Growth. Okay, yeah, Raven Idol just makes it so you can use Wrath. I'm gonna see Wild Growth here. Oh, Naturalize is actually pretty okay. Just in case that um, Draconite Crusher comes out as a 9-9. But he well, yeah. The, um, I don't think they play Draconite Crusher anymore. At least uh, not in this current build. It, it, they take more of a controlling route. That's why you see Fierce Monkey and other things. Uh, I, I think this build actually does run Dragon Crusher. The frenzy monkey. Mm, I guess we'll find out. Yeah, we'll find, mm. we'll, find, we'll find out. We'll find out. We'll find out. I think this build does. Like uh, people have been testing it out, but the uh, bookworm wasn't that good in this kind of build. But we'll see. We'll see. Well, there's different variants. You, yeah, there's you're just playing variants. good stuff versus mediocre stuff. Yeah. But sometimes I feel like it's a little counterintuitive because this deck itself. It's meant for it was like it's meant to be played aggressively, right? Maximum potential damage that they could do is like maybe four off of a uh, a core count elite or something. Mm -hmm. So like they're they're really looking for long term value minions that each card you top deck is gonna be that much more stronger and like bookworm is just something the bookworm actually just kills so many good creatures in this current meta. Yeah, I mean look, hard. teacher, it kills uh Twilight Guardian, it kills uh Imp Gang Boss, it kill like just go like every single lock card it kills. You know what you can do? Give me some additional value, man. You know what you can do? You can go play wild. Oh, what? Going back to wild. Why would you want to play wild? That's like nerfing yourself. <laughs> nerfing yourself feels feels bad. Man. I mean, tenth or something like that. <laughs> like, and towards the end of the season, and he was like super excited. He's like, oh man, I can do this. I can finally get rank one. And I'm like, it's wild. It probably doesn't matter anyway. <laughs> Like, maybe 40 people play wild or something, you know? Hey, hey man, some people care about wild, yeah? Yeah, I really hope that they pull it back into the tournament scene. Because I, I think it'd be really cool to have wild. Like, I, I just want to play all the good cards again. You know, like, scientists. Uh, I, I think the biggest one that I miss overall is um, 
god. It's been so long since I've got to play him, I forgot his name. Looking at five drops right now, guys. Let's see what he's called. Do do do. You could continue to commentate. Alright, so, yeah, going to turn seven. Uh, I guess, like, he can be really mana efficient here. He can go with the Corcon and the, um, the Trilight Guardian, punching through the, I guess, the Ancient of War. Like, he can use every resources he has on board the Corcon, Guardian. Frothy Berserker going to the 510. I think that's, uh, like, yeah, it's a lot of resource use, so I don't think he's actually gonna do it. But I guess, like, he's hoping to draw into the next cure another answer in the following turns. But we do see Big C picking up the mulch, so which is going to be pretty good. Like, he can Blender. use, <laughs> yeah, he could probably use the mulch to bypass the 3 6 if he wants to, and then trade one of the Frothings, just in case of, like, potential, like, tons of damage going to phase. Yeah, that would be a good trade off. Mm -hmm. Oh, and it was Lothab. Like, I haven't played that card in so long that I forgot about Lothab. Oh, you were talking about Lothab, but you forgot about Lothab? Jesus. Lothab was one of the number one cards to play. Yeah, dude, that card was sick. I loved it. Yeah. I especially love duplicating and echoing it and just locking out Priest at the time. Oh, man, and some wow, that actually picks up the sick Execute. That's disgusting. That was the sickest. It allows him to push in an insane amount of damage. And, and he's just flooding the board because he knows he can't really be punished. Yeah. We're probably going to see the uh, Innovate Yogg here <laughs> as like oh, uh, okay. either die next turn or. <laughs> I can see that. We're doing this. Flame we're, Strike. We're, go. We're, we're, gonna, we're just going to see how strong that Yogg actually is. Flame Strike, Doom, uh, Twisting Nether, uh, all things that like instantly clear. No, Bloodlust is not it. Oh, okay, something. Shadow we're dead. Yeah, that, that'll something. take care of one of the monkeys. Oh, blessing of wisdom. Oh. Uh, oh, oh god, that's no, not no, good. No, no, where, no, where, no, where's no, that going? No, no. no, that was the worst one. Well, actually, that's oh, good. Wait, wait, wait. wait. wait, wait, wait. It could Let's be get good. in really badly if none of them die. <laughs> it looks like Procon Leak could die. Okay, okay, we're good, good. Need two to go towards that frothing. But every point of damage is going straight oh, to the berserk. Oh, oh my god, no, it was just the monkey. Oh, oh, Storf. Deal two, do two, do all. Oh, that's super. Okay, good. that's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Oh, it's a full board clear. Oh wow. Yep. Okay, never mind. Wait, no, no, no. You, could, I forgot. You could actually hit yourself. Yeah. Rare few times you could actually hit yourself. Yeah. Wow. Oh, you did pick up an innervate for the turn. You just use it. Yeah, you, you can oh, play the giant yeah, immediately. The giant. That's good. Yeah, that's really good. Wow, y'all gets amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It could have gotten worse, but yeah. yeah you know, you know Yuck's pretty good sometimes, you know? So, do you just play the Nixie as like yeah. an option to remove the Yogg, but it's frozen anyway, so yeah. why bother, right? Oh, to pick up that swipe. Oh, that's not a swipe. That's not a swipe. You can actually. Do you play here with the benefit of having the power of the wild next turn? No, with I, no, no I, I play another Drake here and just trade an 8 8 in. Just hope, just hope that you draw into the swipe. Like you're thinning out your deck, just hoping that you draw the swipe. Oh, well, that's fair. I mean, how much damage is that? One, six, eight. It's not lethal. <laughs> that's, that's all I know. It's not lethal. Well, it's six and then eight. There's eight points of damage, so but it's not lethal. Oh, hey, see, even, there's curator. You can't even play the curator unless he trades everything off or like. But I'm pretty sure well, he played the trade. Right? So it's, it's not gonna matter. Yeah. I think we're probably just gonna see uh, face and then execute on the yog. The swipe will be devastating though, but I think it's not going to matter at that point. He's not going to execute. We're going to see oh. mm -hmm. so that's 13 damage. Yeah, I like that. That's an official lethal next turn. Yeah. So 4, 5, 6, uh, so that's 6, that's, that's 10. Yeah, you have so to trade one of the trades. 12, yeah. Yeah, I think you have to trade it. Oh, I forgot about the 4 with face as well, so yeah, you... you... Be so afraid of Grom, but I'll probably just go face here. Wait, what... what? Variant of Grom, like if he's playing Inner Rage in Grom, then he's probably just dead anyway. No, no, you're just like Icker and Grom, right? Icker and Grom, yeah, they can yeah. do it, but then you you still have to remove. I don't think there's Re any point of actually trading off one of the one ones here, just because this is still lethal if, there, if there's Grom in hand with the activator. Yeah. yeah, but yeah, get rid of that's the only dragon left. Uh, not here, he had probably more dragons, it's just the dragon need you. Uh, he already drew all both of his beasts, which are the crazed monkeys, and the murloc, which is the Finley. So that that's the uh, value that they're trying to get out of it is they get to play the uh, crazed monkeys, which aren't that bad in the current meta. Mm -hmm. 
and Finley. Like, what aggressive deck isn't playing Finley at the moment? And yeah. then Dragon. Where oh, you're. Dragon. An extra draw. Well, yeah, now you need something to remove I'm that. Uh... Yeah, so it could be good. Oh. But he's probably just going to gain life here. Yeah. Draw number two, guys. Draw number two. See if he <laughs> gets it. Think about all the sick value he could have had if he had Teacher down this turn. Yeah. Whoa. He's playing the minis. Oh, he's doing it just in case he gets Auctioneer. That is oh, okay. <laughs> an interesting twist, I, I, I guess. I, I guess that's clever. I guess that's clever. I was wondering what he was going to do, but yeah, I guess that's clever. I think he needs to trade with that dragon now. Yeah. Oh, no. Just go nah. this. Oh, I guess uh, in a sense you're forcing him to trade into you, right? Because you are in the upper hand here. Are you, though? Like, it's always so rough to tell. Like, here comes, three, like, four, four count five, six, seven, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So, he's five off of <laughs> lethal. So, yeah, he does have to trade now. He could kill off the uh, Foundrel plus the Drake. Mm -hmm. But he gets to put down War Axe and Hero Power. Mm -hmm. Looks like he's going to play the, the Pirate first so he could have the War Axe instead. Oh, if he Which is... up there, it will be pretty funny. Dude, I've seen it. I've seen it over and over again. People always forget about it. I don't know why, but they do. Yeah. But like, he still has a chance here. He, does. he gets to go in for that additional point of damage as well. So that's pretty fair. Mm -hmm. Probably got a face with the fire war axe, yeah. Oh so gosh. what instantly loses him the game? Swipe. Swipe. Yeah, easy. Off <laughs> easy. The top. top the top. Oh wait, wait, wait. Swipe. Oh. I guess throw rage was a possibility, but I don't think he plays that. So it would be Raven Island to throw rage. <laughs> yeah. Well played. Yep, so Pixie taking game number five in the semifinals, moving on to the finals, so he won't, he won't get Hermit in, um, 